Excuse me. I'm conducting a survey on how people spend their free time. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? No problem. I'm waiting for a Uber driver, so I think I can have a few minutes. Right. Can I have your name? I'm Brandon, Brandon Murphy. And do you work or are you a student? Well, both actually. I'm doing chemistry and I work as a waiter at a restaurant in the evening. So, I don't get a lot of free time. It sounds as though you're very busy. Yes, I am, but I do manage to find some free time though. That's fine. Can you have a look at the things written on this list and tell me whether you do any of them? And if so, how often? Sure. Well, I like reading and playing musical instruments such as piano and the guitar. I love playing the guitar. I play with my friends almost every day. Okay. I also like biking, but unfortunately, my bicycle got stolen last week. Just last week? Yes. And even the jacket I hang on it was not spared. The lock was very strong too. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I got over it. Well, what else do I do? Hum, I like gardening. I do it once in a while. Okay, that's pretty much it. Excellent. But what about the internet and gaming? Oh yeah. I use the internet almost all the time for research and to keep in touch with my family and friends. As for gaming, I stopped playing games when I got to college, and I don't miss it at all. Chemistry is not an easy subject, so I don't have time for gaming right now. Do you think that having more free time improves people's academic or work performance? Yes, of course. More free time will definitely improve people's performance because it helps reduce stress a lot. It also helps us do what we enjoy, like cooking for example. My mom cooks all the time. I want to try one of these recipes that I learned from a friend of mine. I'm sure she will like it. Having more free time will help a lot. So you enjoy spending time with your family too? Yes, a lot. Whenever I'm free, I'm with my mom. Ho, oh, my Uber driver has just arrived, so sorry, I'll have to go. Thank you for your time. Mommy. Yes, honey. I don't seem to understand this grammar topic. Which one, honey? What's the difference between to and either? I'm always confused whenever I try to use them. Oh, I see. First of all, what do you know about them? I know that both mean also. That's right. They mean also, but they are used in different sentence forms. Which ones? To is used in positive sentences, and either is used in negative sentences. Oh yeah, I now understand why I got it wrong in the test. What did you get wrong? I put to instead of either. My sentence was, this man doesn't know my name, and I don't know his name, too. And the correct answer is? This man doesn't know my name, and I don't know his name either. Wonderful, that's my girl. Let's do the other ones, please. No problem, honey, I have a lot of time for you. Let's do them all. Wonderful. I go to school. And I go to school, too. Thomas doesn't have a phone. And Ashley doesn't have a phone either. The president is called John. And the vice president is called John too. Now my turn. Okay. This shirt is not clean. And this t-shirt is not clean either. So do you understand now? Yes, mom. I now understand everything. Unity One Corporation, James speaking. How may I help you? Hello, I want to know how I can have an apartment in one of your buildings. Do you have one available now? Yes, of course. Your name, please. Kathy Williams. All right, Mrs. Williams. We have three units at Westland. Four at the 12th Avenue and two at Greenfield Avenue. Which side do you prefer? I prefer Westland. I heard it's very quiet there. Exactly, and it has some of our best apartments. Great. So you will get two bedrooms, one bathroom, an office, and a furnished kitchen. The place is pet-friendly and has a lot of additional amenities and a good service as well. All this for $15.45 a month. Oh, I see. When is the rent due? 
Also, will I have to pay for water and electricity bills? And does the property have a children playground? The rent is due on the second of the month, but it is very flexible. Also, everything is included in the rent. There are no additional costs. And we have a large playground, a 24-hour gym, and many more. Perfect. When can I move in? You can move in as soon as all the paperwork and the payment are made. Great. I will talk to my husband, and I will give you a call tonight. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for choosing us for your accommodation. Have a good day. Thanks. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's talk about health and fitness. Over the last two decades, we've seen an increasingly high number of people taking their weight management really seriously. As a consequence, many of them joined local gyms, or bought home fitness equipment. In fact, the number of gym membership registrations doubles almost every five years, and this number is expected to grow in the years to come. What we don't realize is that, these days, we burn less calories than the past generations. This means that even though we exercise a little more, we still eat more as well, unfortunately. So what is the reason behind our getting fat? Well, new technologies and cars, which are designed to reduce our workload and make us feel comfortable, are as much to blame as the nearby fast food and restaurants, selling food, well, we can't stop dreaming of. On top of that, the place we work has considerably been changing. Now, many people work from home. Therefore, we burn less and less calories. This is where home fitness equipment comes in. Walking machines, treadmill and the like, may not be the most effective ways to burn those excess calories and boost our cardiovascular fitness, but they are very common and very useful too. As a matter of fact, sales of treadmills reached a staggering $1.5 billion in the US alone. Other fitness machines are good too, but as usual, the best exercise is to leave your car and use your bicycle to go to work once in a while. If you work from home, you can jog every morning or simply go to the gym. Alternatively, if you are a really busy man, you can take a walk as much as you can. Hi Dave, have you written your assignment yet? Hi Janet, not yet. I've tried the best I could to find more resources to add to what I've found, but it seems that not many people have spoken about the subject. Yeah, I suppose you were given a topic that isn't well known yet, but I think it's an opportunity for you to write something unique, which will serve as a foundation for many others, don't you think so? Yes of course, but it really is complicated to come up with illustrations to support my findings. Hum, I suggest you talk to the professor. He may help you with the resources you need, perhaps he has something on it. I think this is the best idea, I'm sure he has something on the topic, but what do you think he will say when he finds out I'm not done with my assignment? We are only left with five days. Yeah, this is an awkward situation, but you know what, you're not the only one who's not done with it, and I'm sure you will know how to talk to him and he will understand. I hope so. All right, I have to go, we'll meet at the lab. Okay, take care. Hi, do you need help for something? Yeah. I'm supposed to use this program for my accounting class, but I'm not sure how. Okay, is this the program? Yes, it is. It's quite complicated. Let's run it again on your computer and see. All right. Nothing seems to work on this computer. Well, that's what I was trying to explain to you. Anytime I try to run the program, my computer freezes. I think there is a problem with the program. Interesting. Let me use it on my computer. Huh, looks like it's running fine here. That's weird. Why doesn't it work on mine then? Maybe you should try to clear some of your programs. Perhaps your computer needs more memory. Yes, I did that, but it still can't run the program. You know, you can always use the computers here in the lab. Yes, I know, but I want to figure out what the problem is. And also, the computers here can be busy. And I need to work on this project to complete it early for review. Which class is this one? Accounting 101, with Professor Smiths. And this program is required for the course? Yes it is. It's one of our main software. I see. Has your computer behaved like this before? Sometimes I guess. Some programs don't seem to run correctly when I want to use them. 
I recommend you see John, he is a computer whiz. I'm sure he can help you. Or if you want, I can talk to my supervisor. She also knows something about computers. Both options work for me. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.